so my name is Dennis Elgard. I am from Gomspace. We've been a uh, member of UNICEF uh, Japan for quite a number of years now. And I think my, my first intersection with uh, uh, UNICEF was in uh, Kyushu University in fifth, 2015, I think. Uh, but recently we, we now joined uh, UNICEF Global. We're a commercial company. We were about 150 people employed at the Gong Space headquartered in Denmark. A couple of years ago, we succeeded in making a, a NASDAQ stock exchange uh, entry, which was uh, quite successful. And, and of course is driving a lot of our uh, motivation and, and why we're in, in space today. Um, we have a propulsion unit in Sweden. We have satellite uh, operations in Luxembourg. Uh, and a sales office in Washington, D.C. as well. We fly what we sell. So since 2013, we've been flying our own satellites, CubeSats. Uh, we're today flying a GOMEX-4, which is two, two CubeSats with lots of experiments on it, lots of payloads on it, uh, trying out things in space for constellations. And we are now in the process of preparing GOMEX-5, which is a larger satellite. This is a 12U satellite. Uh, and this will start to demonstrate large orbital transfer maneuvers in LEO and kind of preparing us for going into deep space. Uh, deep space wise, we are, are another mission we have is our race mission, where we're looking into some six degrees of freedom propulsion will be one of our uh, products that will fly on this mission for ESA. We are also looking like Hayabusa 2, going into uh, deep space and, and, and asteroid missions. So we are part of this HERA mission. You can find lots of good information on the HERA mission on YouTube. Uh, and it's a mission where two 6U satellites will actually piggyback on a, on a larger satellite and then once they res, uh, reach the uh, Didymus asteroid, which is actually a binary asteroid, we'll deploy and we'll do some, some uh, tests from the 6 u satellite. This, this mission, we're not flying us, ourselves to the, to the satellite or to the uh, asteroid that we will do in the next mission. Uh, another ESA mission called Demago, and the difference here being that we will we, we have to fly ourselves. We're not piggybacking, so we'll look more into deep space uh, communication, maneuvers, ADCS, things like this. And, and so the next decade, what we'll look into is continued disruption. We need to look more into to communication as, as has been discussed earlier also. We need to look into propulsion and more advanced missions. Payloads, of course, uh, continued miniaturization of that. And of course, we, we see in, in the space, uh, new space business that uh, a lot of new microsatellite launchers are coming, which is enabling space. And then we're looking into ground stations, because if you want to have a constellation, of course, you need uh, some good way of managing this constellation. So basically, what I can say is that uh, we're happy to be on board. And, and we're, of course, sorry we cannot see face to face, but hopefully next year. And then, uh, we're ready, new space is ready for business. So that was my uh, brief introduction. <laughs>